All right, let's try this again. <laughs> How y'all doing? First off, let's pray, right? Father God, thank you for this day that you've made. We should rejoice and be glad in it, Father God. Thank you for protecting us from danger seen and unseen, Father God, Lord God. Please forgive us for our sins that we may have committed against you, Father God. And wash us clean, Father God. Make us white as wool. Create with us, create within us a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'm in Amos. All right. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so I'm in Amos, right? Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm just seeing. <laughs> I'm in Amos, okay? And, uh, matter of fact, I just flipped right to it, right? I was like, Holy Spirit, what are we talking about today, right? This morning. I just, I grabbed my Bible and then the first, I, I grabbed a thick of pages and flipped it, right? Opened up right to it. <clears throat> first Amos. Seven, starting at seven, right? Amos one, starting at seven, uh, down to 15, all right? I'm gonna read it. Um, but first, let me reference what people plan in their minds or they're thinking to plan in their minds. Um, like I was saying before, there's people on their deathbeds, okay? There's people, um, because you gotta remember these people made covenants with satan himself okay so their souls are gone gone okay as a matter of fact some of their souls are split right because there are some pretty high-ranking demons sharing their vessel and demons don't like to share a vessel okay demons like to share anything but they most certainly do not like to share a vessel the seven princes of, of hell, yeah, yeah, they don't like to share the same vessel. So what they do is they split the soul, okay? And that person's, part of that person's soul is already in hell. Already. Right? What's here in them has taken over them. They're already in hell. Okay? So, let me read this, okay? Because they're trying to come up with a, a plan to um, either make up with you or um, send people to you to try to have you feel sorry for them, to try to help heal them. <laughs> Not happening. Um... Basically, they're trying to change their fate, and there's no changing their fate. It's set in stone, okay, by the decisions they made over and over and over again. There's no changing their fate. No one can change it except God Almighty himself. No one. No one. The Lord can't even touch it. God is not letting them out of it. Let me read you what God is saying. I'm not going to read the whole first side because it's a lot. I'm going to read the second side. Okay, and if you guys want to go back and read it, you can go back and read it. First Amos, Amos 1 all the way through, right? But I'm going to start at 7. <clears throat> but I will send fire on the wall of Gaza, which shall devour devour the palaces thereof and i will cut off the inhabitant from ashdod and him that holdeth the scepter from ashkelon and i will turn mine hand against ekron and the remnant of the philistines shall perish saith the lord god thus saith the lord for the transgressions of tyrus and for four i will not turn away the punishment thereof because they delivered up the whole captivity of edom and remembered not the brotherly covenant but i will send a fire on the wall of Tyrus, which shall devour the palaces thereof. Thus saith the Lord, for the transgressions of Edom, 
and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother with the sword, and did cast off all pity, and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. But I will send a fire upon Timon, which shall devour the palaces of Basra. Thus saith the Lord, for the transgressions of the children of Ammon, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have ripped up the women with child of Gilead, that they might enlarge their border. But I will kindle a fire in the wall of Rabbah, and it shall devour the palaces thereof, with shouting in the day of battle, with the tempest in the day of whirlwind, of the whirlwind. And their kings shall go into captivity, he and his princes together, saith the Lord. Didn't I just mention the seven princes of hell? Mm. And I didn't even I didn't even see that part. <laughs> and their king. And their king. Shall go into captivity. He. And his princes together, saith the Lord. And it keeps going, actually, into the next chapter. Thus saith the Lord, for the transgressions of Moab, and for four I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he burned the bones of the king of Edom into lime. But I will send fire upon Moab, and it shall devour the palaces of Keriah, and Moab shall die with tumult, with shouting, and with the sound of the trumpet. And I will cut off the judge from the midst thereof, and will slay all of the princes thereof with him saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because they have despised the law of the Lord, and have not kept his commandments, and their lies caused them to err, after the which their fathers have walked. But I will send fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem. I've mentioned before, that there are a few that are chosen ones, or that were, that decided to take this dark, demonic path. They thought that because they had a title or because they're supposed to be divine, that they can do whatever they want. And God's just going to be okay with it. That they can do whatever they want. And come back when they're done. <laughs> so disrespectful. So disrespectful. I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Stop asking. Because he's not turning away the punishment. He's not. Did you turn away your your um, your false actions and accusations? Did you turn away those? Huh? Did you turn away the demonic thoughts and demonic plans that you made against others? Did you turn away those? Huh? God's not turning away this. God's not stopping this. How many times do I have to say he said, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm? You think you can get out of that? After you've had the, been given the opportunities? Mm. They know where they're going, beloved. Satan's been tormenting them. He's been tormenting them and their families. Right? And they're all awaiting the same fate. <laughs> their mother's bargaining for their soul, but their mother doesn't know that they're waiting the same fate. Their father's bother bargaining for their soul, but their father doesn't know that they're going to meet the same fate. Why? Because they were a part of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anybody can get it. And that's anybody can get it. So, so 
to those hoping for God to turn away punishment, he's not going to do it. And you should stop asking. Stop begging. Even Satan is telling you no. Why? Because he answers to God. That's why. <laughs> he knew this whole time. The enemy. The adversary. The accuser of the brethren. He knew. Satan knew the whole time that these people were never going to be able to do what they had it in their hearts to do. Ever. He knew that. They didn't. So it was a setup the whole time. And they lost. I love you guys. Love it. Have a good day today. All right. And uh, even more importantly, God loves you. All right. Peace.